What's up guys, how's it going? Mike the Tech here, and today I'm gonna to show you the best settings to use in NordVPN. I'm running the latest version of Windows, Windows 11, and I have the latest version of NordVPN open, and our speed test here that we're gonna be using to test our uh, internet speed. I'm also running on a gigabit connection up, up and down, so we'll be testing against that to make sure that we have um, at least uh, a pretty good estimation of the kinds of speeds we'll be getting through the VPN. I did a video on this before, but um, it's been a while since I've um, uh, addressed the topic and there's new technologies that have come out with NordVPN that may make things faster. So we're gonna check that today. Uh, this was a suggestion from a comment. Um, I'll put this on the screen right now from EVMan VSGAS. Uh, I'm not sure quite how to pronounce that, but thank you so much for your comment. Um, and, before I get started, I want to give a huge shout out to Todd M for supporting this video and becoming a channel supporter. If you want to um, support this channel, click on that join button below or that thanks button to show me thanks. Um, let's go ahead and get started and try some stuff out. So let's do a baseline and I'm going to do a speed test with a standard baseline. So let's go ahead and run without any connection to NordVPN and see how that does. Six millisecond ping. Not super high today. We're getting at about 940, it looks like, down. Could just be because it's 7.30 in the morning and everyone's waking up and connecting. Looks like we're getting slightly higher up, maybe the same up, 946, 945. Yeah. So that's a pretty good baseline. Um, six milliseconds ping, 945 down, 946 up. Now let's go ahead and connect through the standard quick connect. And in our settings, everything is set to, um, let's, oh, it wasn't. Let's go ahead and turn this on. Choose VPN server automatically. So we're gonna choose the default automatic connection method, which should be Nord links, but we'll double check that. So that was a quick connection. Let's run this again. So we're at 9.45. Slightly higher ping, and we're getting 700. Ooh, but we lost connection. Let's see, it's still going. So not a completely solid. We're, we'll see what the bar looks like after, and we'll run another test just in case, just in case it was still connecting as it was doing that. So this is a really solid test, and the last one we did, it was only about 300 megabytes per second and we were, or megabits per second. We were on a gigabit, the same connection and everything. And it was only getting about 300 total through, um, uh, the other method. So this isn't too bad. I think this might be the best method actually. Uh, let's go ahead and test the other ones just to be sure. Or we were going to test that again, right? I think that's a pretty good test though. Let's, let's do one more just in case. And hopefully we don't get any disconnections. I believe that was probably just because we did it so quickly after connecting to the VPN. It was probably still doing something in the background, even though it said it was connected. All right, so it looks pretty um, solid. 900 on the upload, showing the throughput is pretty good. 746 on the download, that's quite solid. Let's go ahead and try another method. So we'll disconnect. We'll go to choose one and uh, we'll try Nord links and we'll use the recommended server. So we know that the automatic one probably chose Nord links, but we're going to test this anyway. I'll connect to the same one I connected to before. We'll wait a couple seconds before trying. And let's go ahead and click go. Yeah, so it is, we do have to, let's go ahead and open up the speed test app every time we do this. So seven milliseconds ping, not bad. About the same on the download, 7.30. Now remember we were getting 9.45 or so on the um, non-protected connection. So this isn't horribly different. 
especially in upload. You're very, very close in upload. It was 940 and now it's only 900. So there's only about 40 megabits of overhead on the upload, at least in, in on my connection. All right, so that's a pretty good baseline for Nord Lynx. Let's go ahead and try the others and see how much of a difference that makes. So we'll do TCP first. And we'll connect to the same server. We'll close the app. We'll wait for this to connect, and then we will go to the speed test app again and try it out. Yeah, so this is much, much slower. So you want to be using Nord Lynx, at least so far. I'm pretty sure you're going to want to use Nord Lynx because I can't imagine UDP being very different than TCP. Um, but we will try them all. And we'll also try the P2P server to see if you're getting full throughput um, using P2P uh, capable servers. Because sometimes uh, some VPNs will... Uh, give lower quality server priority to these ones um, just because they're not often used for legal stuff all the time. Uh, so 175 is about the limitations of OpenVPN TCP. Let's just try UDP just to be thorough. So we'll change and reconnect. Wait for this to connect. All right, so let's open the speed test app. And votes in on if it's going to be about 175. Oh, quite not what I, not quite what I expected actually. So 300, so a better download uh, so far. We had 175 on each with TCP, so UDP might be a better choice if Nord Links doesn't work. And yeah, we're getting 400 on the download on the upload. Uh, which is a lot higher than TCP provided. So right now we have Nord Links at number one, UDP at number two, TCP at number three in terms of speed. You'll also notice an interesting um, number here that Nord Links has slightly higher ping. We had five milliseconds without protection, seven milliseconds with uh, Nord Links, and only six milliseconds with um, with our open VPNs, but it's not a huge difference, just something to note since I'm doing the stats. Uh, so yeah, let's go ahead and disconnect and try a P2P server finally and see if that's any different. Let's actually switch to uh, Nord Links. That way we're on the best possible connection speed. And then we're going to try P2P. That was a quick connection. So I think we are on Nord Links. We'll go to speed test. And we'll hit go. We'll see if they have any prioritization done between regular servers and P2P servers. So we do have more ping, similar as last time. But download isn't bad. Download is about the same as you'd expect um, with normal Nord Link. So I don't think there's any prioritization going on. Um, the ping is a little bit not nice, but it's nothing to really balk at it's not a huge number in any sense some people's internet connections have a 20 plus millisecond ping just to begin with so yeah not too bad it seems like nord Lynx is the way to go in this case um thank you again for the comment and um, i hope this helped you out thanks for watching peace what you've never heard of stream savers and you thought pewdiepie was the only youtuber to make a game <laughs> I made a game too, and it's called Stream Savers, and it's available for pre-order right now for $9.99, and that's a great price.